Well, this is a very simple slide. It's about the notations alone, the way we just uh, write matrices. Uh, the matrices, basically, it's a table of numbers. Uh, we already saw these tables when we discussed with you augmented metrics. This time, we no longer put any bar in the metrics. We will just look at the metrics as a table of numbers with no attachment to any system of linear equations. There's something you can do with this metrics by itself, and there's something we, we're going to learn. So in principle, metrics, it's a, that's my table of numbers. If you want to encode a general metrics, if you want to write that, that's what people write. They use this little letter A to denote the elements or entries of the metrics. They use indices to distinguish different entries. They use double indices. Uh, the convention is first index goes for the row, and the second index goes for the column. I'm not going to write lots of these large tables. In fact, there is an efficiency abbreviation, efficient abbreviation for this one. It looks like this. You see this writing a lot smaller, but effectively it delivers the same amount of the information. It delivers you the letter which you use to denote the entry. It delivers you the range for the row index and delivers you the range for the column index. So even though this is very condensed new notation, it's very effective one. Rather than writing something as big as this, we can write something as small as this. This is just a notational side only. This, there's no any computational concepts. The symbol like this, the symbol like so, capital M with the double index like this, Normally, this symbol denotes the class of all matrices of size M times N. Or the space of all M times N matrices. Well, this one is uh, sometimes because even, even this notation, it is a sh much shorter than this notation, but sometimes you can abbreviate even this notation by writing something like this. You see, in this, if you compare this writing with this writing, what happened is I just dropped the indication for the range of the indices, how many rows I have, how many columns I have. I dropped this because when you write something like this, when you write this brackets A, J, K belongs to the class of all M times N matrices, this writing by itself already delivers you the information how many rows you have and how many columns you have. That's why if you see something like this, you can just immediately conclude you have M rows and N columns. And that's why in this writing, we can drop this piece, which will make the writing even shorter. So it, 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 this, is, this depends on the context a lot. If you can figure out from the context how many rows you have or how many columns you have in your notations, you can drop the explicit mentioning of this information. 